Hey guys, it's Nick. Thanks for tuning into Long Island Wargaming, and this is going to be about a five minute video of the different armies from Brawler Bash 2014. Uh, we did a lot of bouncing around in between games for food and whatnot, so I didn't get as many pictures um, because, you know, time was restrained, but I'll show you what I did get. This one you should know. This is uh, Anthony's with Lord Flappy Bird up front. This is a cool one, nice wintry display board. I think it's really, really awesome. Uh, Dark Elves. Here's an up close picture. It looks really, really cool. I really, really did like this one. Some ogres. You got your iron blasters in the back. Nice cork boardish looking display board. There's Daniel Furbish's um, high elves with that fall looking theme. Looks really cool. Nice up close shot of those well painted reavers. Look really, really awesome. More Reavers. There's all of his heroes. This picture didn't come out that great, but you can see he's got a whole bunch of heroes, and they're all really, really nicely painted. Check out that uh, banner. That's uh, pretty awesome looking. Here's Lauren Furbish's um, army. Here's a Lizardman army with a nice little pyramid in the back left. This is Chris Tasuki's Skaven. You might see him comment. He's also part of Bromance Wargaming. You brought the uh, Pox Rat thing, which I haven't really tried too hard with, but maybe I'll try to get one in a game sometime. And his converted Hellpit Abomination. This was up on the G Plus uh, website if you're a partner there. Malorian Stroll Hordes with his Savage Orcs and his three backup bunkers. A cool little uh, army for uh, here's Warren's um, Dwarves. This is uh, actually an opponent of mine, game five. You get the big giant bears in the units, which is really cool. That's a unit of hammers. I think the people that do the winter effects with the snow do a really, really good job. Here's some more bears, a bolt thrower on top of a bear. It's a very, very cool themed army. There's another. Oh, this one's got the warden gun on the bear. This is uh, Lauren's army again. It's got the big mural in the middle. Really cool looking, lots of cool colors. That crazy... Uh, Giant block of juggernaut cavalry. Marauder horsemen. I like that. Even the horses have like a purplish hue to them. These these guys came out pretty cool. And those uh, chariots with Mark of Slanesh. I kept thinking they had movement 10 the whole game. They don't. And BSB. Check out that. That's awesome. Really cool. Chimera chilling out on top of the uh, uh, rocket battery. And you can just see the work on the wings. Looks like a lot of a uh, few washes, but a lot of highlighting and dry brushing. And this mural in the middle is freaking awesome. Up a Nurgle bottom right. Now the shot didn't come out as good, but you can see. Here's a shot of the Juggernaut Cav fighting my Doom Wheel. And I have some more pictures of Lauren's army from my game one. The Rocket Battery Chimera. Just really, really cool. Uh, some of this work that Daniel did. This caster is pretty cool. Like the little eye on the staff. And this Chimera is wrecking a different uh, war machine. Looks like a cannon or a Hellblaster volley gun. This is Lord Inquisitor's um, Asian Hellblaster. And then this last one's pretty cool. It's just a dragon with fiery breath. And he's holding himself up in the air. So I hope you guys enjoy this little showcase. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.